Uh, how's that for an intro? It's Monday for GeoGuessr. How are you? Now, I mentioned on Fridays that I'm going to go see a concert this weekend. However, I'll be re recording this before. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God, what is, was my problem? I'm recording this before the actual um, concert. This is early in the morning with my early morning voice. What the? Is this Portugal? This is just going to be a bad score again. So I don't know if my ego can take this, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to see them. And then it got me thinking of the first time I went and saw a concert um, where I grew up, really didn't get anything as far as concerts. And the ones we did get were either rock bands from the 70s who are in that stage of... Uh, Shut up. I don't care about fucking Java. I think this is Portugal. I'm going to go with it and probably get it horribly wrong as this turns out to be somewhere in uh, Brazil. <clears throat> but you get the... Yeah, we're washed up. We're in the coasting stage when three of the band members have already left. So it's basically like the drummer and maybe the keyboardists are still the original band and they actually won the... Uh, court battle to keep the band's name and tour on it, but they still have to give a percentage of the profits to everybody else, all well, the ones who are alive, because back when the band was super popular in 1974, the uh, guitarist overdosed on, uh, I don't know, baby formula, I don't know, <clears throat> and country stars, and I don't really care for country all that much, and if I have to see them, I'm definitely not going to pay money to see it. So the actual first concert I wanted to go see was, wasn't until I got to college and I moved to the quote-unquote big city and went and saw uh, Les Claypool, who you may not know him, but you know of the band Primus. And if you don't know the band Primus, then get out of my channel. I can understand how you may have not heard of him, but it kind of it, one of my favorite bands or at least he himself, and all the stuff that he does. It was one of his side projects, anyway. And, uh, like, in the interim period between, I don't know if you call it hiatuses, okay, is, I think Portugal is in the EU. And their hiatus between, um, what was the last album? Was it Antipop? And animals should not try to act like people, that quick little EP, whatever you want to call it. This is way more in-depth than it needs to be. Anyway, I saw him in his... <clears throat> oh, God, I, kiss, I can't talk. Throat's just being annoying. It was the, fir the first band, Jesus Christ. First concert was him, and I didn't know any of the rules or etiquette when I went to see them. And it wasn't until I was in college when he actually came to the college I was at and, uh, like I said, I didn't know anything about the proper way bands are supposed to go. I didn't know anything about when you go to a concert, you're not supposed to wear a shirt of the concert you're going to see because you're that, quote-unquote, that guy. <clears throat> but I just went to the logic of, uh, if I go to a sporting event, oh, it was Spain. If I go to a sporting event, I'm totally going to wear the shirt of the team I'm going to see because I'm rooting for the team. Showing, hey, I like this team. I'm wearing team shirt. And apparently that is backwards when you go to concerts, which seemed weird to me. Even weirder when you go to like a festival to see a bunch of bands and then you wear shirt of the like one band you're really happy to see. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how in one instance it's uh, okay, and then the other one, it's not. <clears throat> it just seems like, hey, I like this band. I'm going to wear this band shirt. Cool, we're both all here to say the band. I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm supporting you, but I'm also 
totally like the shirt. And the shirt I bought when I was there, I think I went in a Deftone shirt, but when I got to the show, first thing I did was buy a shirt because I'm like, this is awesome. I'm actually in a, it's a weird price. I'm at a concert, never been to one before. Okay, what other things are we going to do? Instantly come in, hey, they're selling shirts. I like this shirt. It's a pretty cool logo. I'm going to wear it. So it wasn't, it was just a combination of liking the shirt and liking the band. So I wore the shirt. Um, so went to the whole concert. None of my friends wanted to go. So my first concert, I was there by myself. I mean, it was a tiny concert. It's not like a huge thing. You go to like a, <clears throat> that's Bank of Brazil. That helps me. I'm going to say we're in a semi biggish coastal city. I'll click Sao Paulo, even though I'm pretty sure it's not. This may actually help me. This thing. Um, or not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's let's do this. Sao Paulo. Oh shit! I clicked it without even knowing. Sweet. Oh god, I'm gonna fight off a sneeze. This has just been a very unprofessional me trying not to sneeze out of my mind here and tell a very not exciting and or compelling story. <clears throat> we'll just say a main thoroughfare. We'll click like here. Like, I don't know. Um. Anyway, the concert... Oh, God. My entire body is fighting against me. It's like, it's 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 already giving me enough bad news today. All right, one thing at a time. Finished the thing, went to the concert, it was great, had a good time, even if it was by myself. I think I annoyed some of the people around me because I was singing the words of the song, because I don't know if, again, that's another no-no when you go to a concert. I always listen in here, uh, it looks like the flag of Chile, and now I'm concerned, but it said Sao Paulo, so I know what the answer is. It's like, I, heard, I know the song, I'm going to sing it. I hear live albums, and people are singing the song, so why is this one bad? I think this woman was just a very uptight bitch but um my body is fighting against me today i've already had an one anger with it today because i'm since what is it beginning of may i've gone on a diet the second time i've gone on the same exact diet the first time was 12 years ago and that one ended in a um fireball of Ben and Jerry's cinnamon roll ice cream, and I ate a whole pint of that, and it just caused me to fall off the wagon super hard. But that was 12 years ago, which the, when I actually sat back and tried to count when we actually did it, because it was me and a friend, because I'm too codependent to try to do things myself, we are like, Jesus, it's been that long, time is flying, I'm old, everyone's dying. Um, normally, oh, we had, not completely in Sao Paulo. I'm close enough. <clears throat> Normally, this is probably Russia. For a average amount of weight you're supposed to lose a week, it's... Uh, let's, I'm just going to see if that says Cyrillic. And it does. Hello, Russia. Normally, they say it's like a healthy is like two to three pounds a week, I think. And last week, lost over three. And this week I was like, cool, I'm going to hit a number that I'm like all super happy about. And all I got to do is just make the goal. God, nothing, my body, it's just, just talk. You can wait until you're done to like have to burp or anything. But no, my body's just got to be like, things need to happen now and they're going to like it or not. Um, I wish I just had more control over the, my gastric system, I guess. But... Yeah, I go to weigh myself this morning, and of course, it's like exactly 0.1 below what I wanted it to be at. And I'm just like, why you got to do this to me? It's not like I didn't choose some of the foods today, and it turned out to be, or some of the foods this entire week, and it's completely my own fault. Just be like work with me here every other week it's been fine but this one no we we regressed again zero idea where the fuck this is so um we're we're there this is just abandoned town ski i don't and we're at the end of a road here 
Yes, we are. All right, we're going to hit home, and I don't remember what... Oh, we're going this direction. Are we not going this direction? Come on, thank you. That's a... That's a turn. Okay, I didn't tell you to do that, but okay. Let's get on the road here. And just slowly click our way. All right. It was just an annoyance. And now I'm sitting here. Just being like. I know what I did. And it's like I got to wait a whole seven more goddamn days. And it's it's never ending. I mean it shouldn't be. Because honestly I've spent my entire life. Being a fat piece of shit. And I know that, um, at least from the last time I heard and or read anything on the subject, that at least, like, your body or your cells are just kind of used to being the size they are. And if they're that way for a very long time and you'll lose weight, your cells are like, no, no. We're, I'm used to being, you know, fat, so it's going to do everything it can to try to go back to what it's used to. So... Diets never end. At least, it's got to be equivalent to the amount of time that you were fat. So it's going to be a long time. There's, there's no like, okay, it's done. You can't really coast because the second you do, you just fall off the wagon super hard. And it's just like, ooh, O-O-G-L-I-C-H. Ooglich. That's a weird word. No, oh, there is a bus here. That's, I'm going to say it's a barbecue there. Again, no idea where this is. I don't think I've ever known where any place is in uh, a rush, I guess. So, yeah, here we are. Just clicking along. Oh, apparently I was somewhat close. We're near Yaroslavl. Fucking Christ. One of these again. And, again, I just, it's another thing to add to my argument of bodies are dumb. Is that an American flag? Well, we're never gonna know with the Jesus photo here. Yeah, that's America. Alright. I'm going to say there. Hopefully, I'll find a road that'll help me, although the direction I'm going, I'm not very confident that I'm going to get to a high quality image in any way. Brookhaven Youth Ranch. This just looks like Fallout colors, Fallout, well, maybe not quality, but this just feels bad. Like, it looks like it was raining here. The image quality is awful. I don't think I'm going to get anything where, like, actual visibility is, like, in a 10-feet radius around me. I'm still fighting off my body, making stupid burp noise, like, feelings. and Oh, look. Let's go here. And then we can go this way. Technology, folks. Just get me to a road that I'm going to hit home and go the other way. I go this way, yeah. Well, this isn't... This is probably just a speed limit sign. No trucks. Okay. Alright. Well, let's just keep going this way into the smeared lens. You put butter on your fucking lens, this is what it's going to look like. Anyway, bodies are dumb. Like, hey, I'm losing weight. Oh, gee, thank you, Christ. I don't know what I clicked. But now I'm actually in a place I can see things. Is there any, like, signage here? This may help. Patton Lake, West County Line Road, I believe that one is. Hill County Line. Is this Teskiskis? What am I, Popeye? It's Teskiskis. Um, Cody and Susie Lewis, good for you people. Now tell me where I am. I'm going to click down here now, Oklahoma, Texas, I think. 
speed limits, county, roads, I, uh, Texas, yep, okay. West Texas, farm road 933. Well, I'll just have to remember for next video to, again, reiterate why I think bodies are dumb. But now I need to find out in the West Texas town of El Paso. There lies a something, something for me. I forget how the song goes. Because every time I heard it, it was on a Time Life uh, collection. I have to actually put us in this state here. For oldies, like 50s music, they would only play that like... 10 second clip of this song where he just goes out in the Texas this town of El Paso there's a lady waiting for me I think is how it went I mean it's been a very long time since I've heard it and I'm surprised slash embarrassed that I uh, still remember it but I don't think in the interim the songs ever actually come up Prairie Grove Cemetery. Well, three, two, one, Texas. That wasn't that far off. Oh, we're close to Waco. Um, all right, this is Southeast Asia. I'm going to say here. And now it's, I'm going to see that bus. If that's a bus. And, uh. Actually, I probably could have talked more about how about oh they got that weird cat. Um maybe this is Cambodia. I, mean, I don't fucking know. This could be any of these uh Mahas You get your hand out the window. Chakum Nun. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, what is this? Like a... Dump? Someone's house? Why? There's collections of stuff. You got a cow or yak or water buffalo. I don't know what these animals are. They look like cows. So I'm going to call it one. Are we selling trucks? None of this stuff says what country it is. All right. Like... What is this? Is this like a racetrack rodeo? Just to open dirt area that you... Oh, what's this? What's this? What is this? Mm, not gonna know. I need a flag. Or a word. Uh, although if I see a flag, I'm still not completely convinced that I'll know the location. Is that a policeman in a wheelchair? I don't think it is. Is this like that landmine concern? Nothing here is telling me anything. Click back to the road. Is this like a construction building company here? I don't know. It's just getting to that stage of just kind of like everything annoys you. And it's all because of one thing, and you know it's 100% your fault, but you wish that it wasn't, so you would feel so much better to be like, no, it wasn't my fault, and I, the, the amount I lost this week was just a agonizingly small amount. You reflect back on all the things you did for the entire week, and you're just like, eh. I know what it was, but it was my, I guess, week of slipping, I guess you could call it. I mean, it's it's dumb to complain about, like, I just keep not being able to eat what I used to. It's a dumb thing to complain about, but you're just like... A couple of months straight of it, you do get a bit tired of it. I mean, tighter is the wrong word, but it wears on you a bit. And it really shouldn't, because it's a dumb thing. Alright, this is... I see those flags. And now I'm concerned it's Thailand. Yeah, I'm going to say it's Thailand. Maybe up here. I but Yeah, because Cambodia, not Chuak. Hey, look, we got a road sign here, 219. This may help. 
you do have the little, uh, well, we're never going to get close enough to see it. The little thing above here. The 219, that's going to be hard to find. Um, there we go. Up here. Is, I never going to find it. And we're, I'm just going to hit make guess. I'll jump the gun. Hey, we we're pretty close. Nice. And somewhat respectable start to the uh, week. Granted, I got a country wrong. And I got a Russia guess, but what are you going to do? Anyway, that's going to do it for the Monday. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. You know the deal. Favorite, comment, subscribe, all that other silly stuff. Uh, tell me. Give me. Suggest things. I'm all ears. If you ever feel the need to write anything here, I'll read it. And we'll go from there. But uh, I don't know what's going to happen for the non geo guesser days of the week, if there's going to be anything. If there is, it's... I don't know. We'll figure it. Well, I'll figure it out. You'll just find out tomorrow. But uh, thank you all for watching. We will see you real soon. Goodbye.